Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm one of the fish biologists here at Moody Gardens. We are here at the South Pacific exhibit, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about our, our South Pacific turtle. She is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. So Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are native to the Atlantic Ocean and the Texas seacoast. They are actually the smallest species of sea turtle and the most critically endangered. And so what's special about Chloe is that she was actually rescued here in the Galveston Bay. And so several years ago, she was actually uh, out in the bay and was struck by a boat. The boat propeller actually uh, struck her shell, severing her spine, um, leaving her back fins paralyzed. So she was taken in by the NOAA Turtle Lab here in Galveston, where they helped her heal over and rehabilitate. And she did heal over just fine. However, due to the nature of her injuries, she was deemed non-releasable. So as I mentioned, Chloe is an Atlantic species of sea turtle. However, we found she's a good fit for our South Pacific exhibit. In the wild, she would be swimming out in open ocean in the Caribbean or the Atlantic. Um, however, due to some of the uh, larger species of shark we have in the North Caribbean exhibit, we found that she's a good fit for our uh, South Pacific exhibit, where we have mostly smaller, uh, smaller species of shark and, and friendly tank mates like uh, fish and eel. Um, so normally in the wild, Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are omnivores. Um, however, when they are more mature, they mainly eat meat. So uh, her diet consists of uh, a wide variety of fish. Uh, we include things like uh, squid, even jellyfish. So she is target trained. Um, she's a smart girl. We actually have a red cross that we insert into the water after all divers are out of the water. Um, and she kind of recognizes that as her dinner bell. And so she'll approach the target and once she does, we'll actually uh, stick tongs in the water and offer her food. Um, she does prefer things like jellyfish or salmon, however, she'll eat just about anything we offer to her. And we do like to offer a wide spectrum of foods, just give a, a nice variety in her nutrition. And we do include vitamins to, to make sure that she's getting those nutrients that she wouldn't uh, get in our care that she would get in the wild. So uh, we don't know her exact age because she was born in the wild, but based off of her size, um, we estimate that she's about 25 to 30 years old, which is still relatively young. Uh, sea turtles can live uh, to be 50 years and much, old, much older than that. The Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are the most critically endangered species of sea turtle. Um, most sea turtles are endangered due to habitat loss as well as overfishing. They do get caught in nets uh, while fishermen are trying to collect fish. Um, they're also having trouble uh, in their, their egg laying habitat. They lay eggs along the Texas coast and their nests are either being harvested or destroyed incidental or uh, by accident. So as I said, uh, Chloe, uh, our Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, she was found out in the Galveston Bay. Um, it is a area where you'll find a lot of uh, wildlife, including sea turtles. Um, while there is a lot of boat traffic and tourism activities, sea turtles will come in uh, not only to eat the seagrass, but also to uh, prepare their nests. They do lay their eggs along the Texas coast, and we can actually found uh, sea turtle nests here in Galveston. Um, they are very fragile and it is very important to uh, protect them. And so if you do come across one of these nests, it's important to contact the local authorities so that they can make sure and uh, protect this nest. So it's really important that these turtles have uh, clean water quality as well as a clean nesting area. So uh, it, some things we can do is just be mindful about the trash that we leave uh, as well as our fishing gear. Um, all of these things are potential hazards for the, uh, not only the nesting sea turtle as well as the uh, infant babies when they hatch. Um, some other things that you can do is make sure that you are being mindful about all of your uh, plastic wear. Um, in the wild, Kemp's Ridley's as well as other sea turtles uh, constantly prey on jellyfish and a jellyfish in the, in the water looks just like a plastic bag. So some things that we can do to be more mindful in uh, protecting the environment that these sea turtles are inhabiting is being more mindful about the single-use plastics that we're using. Um, Using renewable or reusable items are always a better resource than single-use plastics. Um, while recycling is a great option, uh, a lot of plastics simply aren't recyclable or only a small portion of them are recyclable. So if you can, using something that's renewable or usable is going to be a great, uh, great option to bring to the beach with you. So I hope you guys learned a little bit more about sea turtles and the Galveston Bay, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time at Moody Gardens.